Hi everyone, so I'm happy to be here presenting to you today. Uh, my name is Patrick Setama. I'm co-founder and CTO of Zetain Systems, and I'll show you today how to extract more benefit from Onyx so that you can shorten your development cycle time and reduce guesswork. So this is me, and as you can see, my background is uh, most in mathematics, ranging from physics to computer science to foundation of mathematics up to category theory and logic. So yes, it's pretty clear I like mathematics. Our company, Zetain System, is based in Montreal. We're a team of software developers, data scientists, simulation, and 3D rendering experts. Recently, we released a new product, which is industry agnostic. Our software is a 3D engine with a Python API. You can think of our software as brain imaging for artificial neural networks. You'll see very soon what I mean. In the last few years, we talked to many stakeholders from different industries, and for them, the black box problem is still a very important problem, especially related to industrial adoption. For data scientists and developers, it's about knowing how to debug your model and knowing exactly what's happening inside the model so that they can be optimized. For subject matter experts, it's about getting involved into the ML process and understanding exactly what those algorithms are about. And for business leaders, it's about knowing what is ML, what is um, what are neural networks, and also to be able to understand the risk associated to these new types of algorithms. To address some of the issues related to the black box problem, we pass input data to the Onyx models and then project the models in our Zetain engine where we can explore every component of the model. We can inspect the architecture of the computation graph, but also all the tensors contained in each operator node. Directly from the Python workflow, we made it as simple as possible for you to send and display the model in the engine so that you can inspect all the components of the models, including all the tensors and information about the tensors. You only have to import the thing, launch the engine, create an object that will contain your model, and then pass your Onyx, Keras, or PyTorch model to the object. Finally, you can display your model in the thing by using the update call. Then you'll be able to see the model and also access all its components easily. As an example, we went to the Onyx model zoo and we used the emotion recognition pre-trained model and code. And to it, we added a few lines for it to be displayed into the engine. And now in the engine, you have the architecture of the model, all the tensors that can be accessed uh, by using the button on the nodes. And also for each of those tensors, uh, we have access to the statistics related to the values of the tensor. When you send an Onyx graph to the Zetain engine, you'll be able to look at its architecture and also access all the tensors. But you can also send uh, images, point clouds, 3D meshes, NumPy, text, different charts and panels and UI elements to the engine to create a scene uh, that helps you uh, investigate your models and inspect them. After you send the model to the engine, you'll be able to open every tensor and look at their value distribution, uh, know the shape and different statistics about it, and also see the tensor as it's projected in the 3D space or 2D space. Even every single value of the tensor can be seen in the engine and accessed and um, inspected. Each tensor visualization comes with uh, the statistics related to that tensor. Uh, here you can see uh, what is the effect of ReLU, which is mapping all the negative numbers to uh, zero. So now we'll look at a live example. So this model is super resolution. You can see that it improves the quality of the image. So by clicking on the buttons on the nodes, it's possible to access the tensors. Those tensors are projected in 3D or projected in 2D. You can also access the statistics and uh, absolutely every tensor within the model. This, we're now looking at the weights. In this case, these are the filters. And you can notice that uh, there's only a few of the rows that have different values. Uh, we can also access the feature maps by clicking directly on the nodes. 
and access uh, the filters that generated each of those feature map. Now that you have access to everything about the model, including its internal data, you don't have to only rely on a few metrics to be able to make a guess on how to adjust your model to improve it. So what you can do is look at the data, the model, and the interaction between the data and the model so that you gain deeper insight and make more decisive strategies on how to adjust your model and improve the quality of your model. Uh, this will also increase trust and safety. Uh, by knowing what's happening inside, uh, you will get also a better buying from, say, management. This is a use case of an autonomous train model we were asked to work on. The train needed to stop when there were obstacles on the track or continue when there were no obstacle. When seeing a huge boulder on the tracks, the model was detecting an obstacle and stopping the train, which is a good thing when you're looking at the size of the boulder. But by looking at the Redu layer in the Zetain engine, we saw that it was clearly detecting the tunnel. This told us that we needed to add more images of tunnels labeled as non-obstacles. The Zetain engine contains another tool that allows you to get more insight into your model and reduce the guesswork. You can send a series of images or inputs that will be inferenced through the model so that you can look at all the tensors. For example, you can select a series of outliers of your choice and send them to the engine. Then you can iterate through each of those outliers and inspect how the model is reacting. We've also integrated different XAI libraries in the engine so that with one line of code, you can send your model in the XAI dashboard so that you can look at images generated by GradCam, ScoreCam and guided GradCam and also by Lime, Vanilla Backprop and other um, results from uh, well-known XAI libraries. We made the Onyx model really transparent by making them visual and easy to inspect. The result is that the Onyx model will be more tangible and accessible. When you're running and displaying a model from a script, it's possible to take a snapshot of it and later load it to inspect all the internal tensors dynamically. We're hoping that such snapshots will help the Onyx model to grow and engage more and more stakeholders. When running models in production, you can trigger a snapshot based on certain events. These snapshots will record everything about the model at that moment, and later on you can inspect those snapshots in the engine and access all the tensors and everything that was happening at that moment. This will allow you to react quickly or understand how to improve your model further. We also support models of uh, larger size, uh, for example, like Yolo V3 and um, many other models from the Onyx model zoo. We've recently launched the Zetain engine and it's possible to install it through pip by going to docs.zetain.com. It's a 30 day trial version and we're hoping to soon offer a community version uh, called the Zetain viewer. Thank you very much for having me today. And if you have questions, uh, feel free to write to me and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Thank you so much.